Assalamu alaikum and good morning to all. This year remarks 13 years since the Deepwater Horizon oil spill incident. On 20 April 2010, a mass explosion occurred at the Deepwater Horizon drilling rig, located in the Gulf of Mexico, which led to a mass oil and gas blowout. The oil spill occurred after a surge of natural gas passed through a concrete core recently installed to seal an oil well for later use. Oil can harm living things because its chemical constituents are poisonous. This can affect organisms through ingestion and inhalation. Oil can also coat feathers and fur, reducing birds and mammals' ability to maintain their body temperature. Oil floating in the water surface can be deposited directly in corals when the water drops to a low tide. And this can affect other marine invertebrates the effect of oil spill on human may be direct and indirect depending on the type of contact with the oil spill. Oil contains high level of toxic chemicals including mercury which can have dangerous effect on human that come into contact or ingest oil. Oil spill cleanup workers for example suffer from damaged immune, respiratory and cardiac function and carry high level of toxicity that have long term consequences. People will ease Seafood can also be exposed to traces of toxic chemicals. Or defined as saturates, aromatic, alphanates, and resins. Alphanates containing nickel and vanadium and resistant to microbial degradation, while aromatic like benzene have high solubility and could influence various enzymes in biota. And even after enters the environment, which change the composition of the chemical, much of oil will mix with water and forming mixture that resistant to rapid weathering and more difficult to remedy. Alternatively, fungi and yeast play a lesser but still potentially significant role in the biodegradation of hydrocarbons. The advantages of fungi degradation in submeshes include the ability of high P to penetrate through anoxic sediment aggregates of hydrophobic environments. Many fungi can transform hydrocarbons into oxidized derivatives and a few strains are able to create aromatic rinse. Several fungi genera are able to remediate soil contaminated with oil.